Hey Vogue, it's Mary J. Blige, and today I'll be going through my life and looks. So this first look is from the I'm Going Down video. It's just all swag and tension and <laughs> anger and <laughs> street and gritty. It's just, it's all attitude. It's an Armani suit and an Applejack hat and some Teflon boots. Well, the song is very um, sad and intense. So the video was very, it was like, look at me now, so what, forget you. I'm hot and I'm sad. I'm mad you hurt me, but I'm fly. <laughs> so at the end of this video, I'm wearing like a big black Mongolian fur, makeup by Kevin O'Quan, killed it. And I finished my song and I dropped the mic and I leave. Um, visuals were always a huge part of being an artist. Like from the first album, way before I was even in the industry, it was all, it's always about looking, looking good. <laughs> this was the Billboard Award and I was trying to give off sexy cat woman kind of thing without the ears because I wanted something to match my Fendi bag that had patent leather on it. This outfit is Gucci. I mean, at this point, I was all about more is more. <laughs> Lots of rings, blondest hair or the reddest hair. I wore black lipstick or dark lipstick, just as many accessories as I could find. <laughs> and I was super shy camera shy, believe it or not, and especially people shy, so the red carpet was like, ugh, do we have to? All right, I love this one. This is Fendi, and this is actually styled by me. I found this outfit in Sweden at some boutique, paid a lot of money for it. I, I just wanted it. <laughs> I think I did my own hair that day, too. I think I did everything for myself that day. I mean, this is, this is straight ghetto fabulous right here. We have the twisty hoop earrings. We have the swoop. A lot of girls were wearing the swoop uh, bun, the Fendi glasses. We were, we're matching from head to toe. <laughs> I loved fashion. I, I just love to make sure that I was, you know, that I can do things for myself. And, and before I was in the music business or doing anything, I did my own hair. I, I colored my own hair. I cut my own hair. I weave my friend's hair. I braid their hair. You know, we didn't have a lot of money but we'll, it was about finding the best cheap things <laughs> to make them look fly, and we, and we did that. So when I got some money, I, I was able to go crazy. Oh, This is the Not Gonna Cry video. This was my life. <laughs> I was in mourning of everything. This is just a woman in pain, but with so much swag, and f f she's fabulous, and she's in pain, but she's just still so fire, so hot, so fabulous. You know, this is how we suffered. We made ourselves look good. That made us feel better. <laughs> it was written from her perspective, but it was also written from what I was actually really dealing with in my real life, being cheated on, ready to burn someone's house down. That's what this whole look is about. You have a hood on, it's black, glasses, black lipstick. No one sees your eyes, no one really knows, you know. Or you can go to a funeral. So either way, something bad is involved. Uh -huh. This outfit was the day that I won my very first Grammy with Method Man for You're All I Need. That was my very first Grammy ever in my career. This outfit is Dolce & Gabbana. The stylist said, put it on. I liked it and I wore it. That, that, that's what kind of day that was. I felt grown and sexy in this outfit. I felt fashion forward, because that's what I was always trying to do something new and different. I was like, wow. Hip hop gave me my first Grammy, not even R&B. So, and that's, you know, I'm the queen, queen of hip hop soul. And it was just a beautiful moment. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this is plain suit, I think. This hat is Nisha Furs. Uh, my girlfriend, Feria, who used to be in Manhattan, rest her soul. She made the hat. And this is called A Night at the Club. <laughs> I don't remember the photo being taken, but I do remember dancing. I remember that night. It was before I got married. <laughs> Everything was fun before I got married. But I would definitely wear the, wear the outfit again, for sure. I wouldn't wear the hat, though. I would definitely not wear the hat. I wouldn't do the hair that way. I would do something else. But I would definitely wear the, wear the outfit again, for sure. Ah. Oh. I know exactly where I was here. I was at the inauguration for President Obama. 
on the stairs singing Lean On Me. It was zero degrees outside and I had on that little blazer. It's freezing, but you know, singing warms your heart. It makes you feel, you know, good. It makes people feel good. So like, I still can't believe that I made it to, to be able to do something like that. That day, I kept thinking it's th that same, that exact thing, like, wow, I'm, I'm about to sing for our first African-American president, which we never thought we would ever have. So everything was a dream come true that day. And it was just amazing. Ooh. Hey. This is called Free at Last. <laughs> I was fresh out of my divorce and going just, just happy to not be clean no more. Ah, just. I went crazy. I said, give me all the chains, give me, give me everything that looks like I'm free. <laughs> the amount of skin, just skin everywhere. Like I actually have a panty, <laughs> not shorts, but like some kind of panty with, with the already see-through pants, a bra, cleavage. I cut all my hair off. Like that's actually all my hair that I cut off. It's just flowing. Everything about it is flowing, and it's sexy, and it's moving. It's just fly. I don't even know I look that good. That pitch is great. Ooh. Wow. Now, I do remember that this is Versace, and this is at the Met Ball. It's so Mary J. Blige in a gown. <laughs> I love boots, and everyone knows I love boots. So this could have never gone wrong. This was perfect. And the night was such a costume kind of night that you could, you will get away with that. You you'd get away with, you know, that boot and that gown. I would have done it anyway, though. I would have done it at the Oscars. <laughs> oh, this is the 2019 BT Awards, and this is my performance for that night, for, for the um, Lifetime Achievement Award that I was awarded. This was called, I'm all the way outside. <laughs> I'm free, I'm flying, my hair is flying. I haven't stripped down yet, I've got my coat on. This is an, um, another level of ghetto fabulous. This is Queen MJB in her element coming out to my life, about to perform my life, about to perform No More Drama. And so we finished that and under this, we're about to strip down, take off this coat, and under this is a, a white leather romper with stones, white leather boots with stones, and we're gonna go put this white leather MJB hat on to the back. And then we're gonna go out there and tear this place down like we did. I felt like it was a place of heaven for me because I had arrived in a place, I had just come out of hell, and that was heaven for me where I get to, oh man, I was acting a fool because I just felt so good about me because for so long someone was telling me that I wasn't nothing and I was too old and I was too fat and I was too ugly and I was too this and I was too that. And the struggle was over. I paid all the alimony. I, was, I did everything that I was supposed to do. And I took a deep breath and let me do this Mary J. Blige real quick for these people. Oh, she has arrived. <laughs> this is just, I'm content. I'm, I'm loving on me very hard. I'm so grateful, so thankful, but I'm still ghetto fabulous and live and sexy and, and classy all at the same time. <laughs> but it's just freedom, freedom. Do what you want. This is an Ashish jumpsuit. It just felt really, really good because I remember the first time I ever hit this Apollo stage, I was singing background for an artist by the name of De Jeff Red on Uptown Records. And I used to shop on um, 125th Street at High Energy. And um, just to look across the street as a child that didn't know what was gonna happen in her life, and then end up, and see the Apollo, and then end up there performing on my own, like not an amateur night, but performing as Mary J. Blige. It was, it's amazing. Vogue, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed my looks, and I'll see you next time. MJB.